Hello, everybody. This is Michael Androsky. Now, another honorable mentions for February 18th, 2023. Um, this is just a little update with my shirt collection. Even though I, I was going to do a collection update for my for my merch, for my mail and maintenance of not shirt. Well, again, like I said in my, in my, um, community tab, that whatever video I've done, that's over 15 minutes, and that's close to my, ex closest to my, um, my space that I don't have enough room to film is where I need to stop doing YouTube videos for a while, so, bear with me, uh, as you can see, this is my Wob Zombie shirt that I got, um, where I was at Pheasant Lane with the corn shirt that's in the laundry right now. So, um, I just want to let everybody, like, let everybody know that this is my first Wob Zombie shirt I got in a while because, well, obviously, um, the previous one was, was back in October of last year. And, of course, as you can see, this was bought in, I think, in August or July or something. This is the lyrics to the Dracula song which this is from I think this is where from the four sessions from Halberry Deluxe one and um and I think some people are um ranting about this picture because this picture was um inaccurate with the photo the photo cover from the art profile from iHeartRail which is white zombie even though it doesn't look like that. So like I said, I got a lot of Wob Zombie t-shirts that I got over the years. And um, and I want to make an update of showing you those t-shirts. And yes, I'm starting to collect a new um, artist to collect in my collection. So, I, same with my corn t-shirts where I got. But this is my Wob Zombie t-shirts. I have almost more than 20 Wob Zombie shirts, including the other ones I got from Hot Topic years ago. Especially the one with the Slipknot shirt that... uh. That barely fits me, but like I said, if you don't remember, um, I'm gonna tell you a little short story. Uh, the first time I was I was in Hot Topic, it was my it was with my grandmother. I bought a Wob Zombie shirt, and then I bought a Slipknot shirt, which is from always gone. And then the uh, Wob Zombie shirt I'll show you in this other video. It had him and the uh a a, a, a fly on the T-shirt. and That's my first shirt ever. Now, um, I think um, the one I'm wearing today is one of my favorites. I do have also a couple favorites of mine, but this next one I'm going to show you. Well, it's actually two more I wanted to show you, and now I'm going to be here for the update. So this one is my favorite because this is from the the 2000, um, I think this is from the 2009 tour from Hellblade Deluxe 2 tour from 2009. And I think that featured the uh, Halloween concert from two thousand nine when they uh when they debut when they date when the uh at the time debuting the single from that album which is single but this is the uh Sick Bobacom single. And this is also my favorite. This is the one with the uh the claw one which he used from the Halloween Deluxe tour full shoot. And this is the uh two thousand ten tour, which I think a year later, um, Mal Manson drama Ginger Fish joined, or maybe this is when he was he's trying out for the band, and then he joined in full time. Now I heard a lot of um news article reports that um John Five left Wob Zombie, Wob Zombie, to join Motley Crue because Mick Mars announced his retirement because he can't play him with the guitars anymore, and then one of the uh, um fellow members of Wob Zombie came back since. Edu since the since the making of educated horses and uh and I was trying to find who that person was I think it's from the maybe both Halloween Deluxe and uh Sinister Urge it's not Blasco from um Ozzy Osbourne and such but if I find the name I'll let you know but uh I think it's Mike Wakes or something because he he uh played the guitar. And he had short hair and such, but he had, but now he has dreads. So, I'll let you know when he looks. I'll let you know when he looks like and know what I'm talking about. So, that'll do for my little honorable mentions video for my Wob Zombie t-shirts for February 18, 2023. And know there's going to be a t-shirt collection update for that specific artist in my t-shirt collection update. And yes, I'll be doing my Slipknot and Mail Manson t-shirt collection in this other video as well. So, 
As always, thanks for watching the video, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.